Robin Lee, and I'm here to talk to you about Bridging Arizona, which is Arizona's largest furniture bank. What's a furniture bank? A furniture bank is very much like a food bank in that they take items that people no longer want and they put them in their warehouse and then redistribute them to the people who are in need in the community. I found out about furniture banks because I have a home staging company and I didn't know that even such a thing existed and when I found out that the biggest problem furniture banks have is getting enough inventory to supply the needs of the social agencies that put a demand on them, I decided to spread the word and get more involved and now I'm a member, a board member of Bridging Arizona. So Jim Piscopo and his wife Donna are the founders of this furniture bank and Jim's going to come and tell you a little bit more about how they started and what they do and we'd love to have your support. Thank you. This is one of the volunteer projects we had. It was donated to Almoir. Isn't that wonderful? And it'll go to a family. Pretty much everything we have is something that you would have in your home. They're just getting back on their feet. They deserve something nice. My wife Donna and I started Bridging AZ about 10 years ago. I met a caseworker who said, you know, when their girls leave the shelter, they don't have anything. So I thought, well, stuff is easy. So we started collecting furniture and household goods and you know, gave it to this one agency. Well, that grew into two, which grew into three. Within six months, we were supporting 13 social service agencies and we weren't even a nonprofit. People were giving me furniture because I was giving it away. We qualify the social service agency and the caseworkers qualify the families. And most of those other furniture banks have a dozen or more employees and we're doing this with three. We need uh, new trucks because our trucks are old and they were donated to us. But to actually pick up dressers and beds and you know, clean and refurbish items, you know, we do all that in-house. We would need probably eight people to be able to serve this community. It was a tough decision to give up my contractor's license, but this was something no one else was doing. We could either make money or make a difference, and we chose to make a difference, and that's what we've been doing. We've helped over 60,000 people.